everyone welcome back to my channel learn to teach since we have discussed about the types of teeth and their role in digestion in the previous videos now let us learn about the structure of a typical tooth for those who haven't watched my previous videos on digestive system in humans please please do watch it now the link has been given in the description box so let us begin now now since you all know that the teeth they help in biting the food they help in chewing the food properly and grinding the food into smaller pieces so let us understand about the structure of a tooth in detail in this video now all the teeth have the same general structure and it consists of three parts which you can see in the figure over here it consists of crown neck and the root so let us begin with the first one that is the crown so crown it is the top portion of the tooth which can be seen which is visible to us when we see ourselves in the mirror okay so in other words we can say that the part lying above the gums is the crown now i said a word gums do you understand the term gums what is it exactly so gums are nothing but the soft tissue linings in the mouth they are also referred to as gingiva and they help in firmly holding the teeth at their position now the healthy gums they are pink and they keep the teeth tightly anchored that is tightly fixed at a particular position and of course they cover the entire root of the tooth for example in humans the teeth are strongly attached or strongly rooted in the sockets formed in the gums now since the crown is the part which is almost exposed every time to all types of the food particles it comes in contact with various sort of microorganisms every time so hence it needs to be protected therefore the crown it is coated with an extremely hard covering that is the enamel so enamel is exactly what it is the white hard layer which surrounds the crown enamel is the hardest tissue or the hardest substance in the human body just below the enamel is the dentine dentine is a bone like hard substance it constitutes the largest portion of the tooth and it consists mainly of apatite crystals of calcium and phosphate dentine helps to support the structure of the tooth and it contains the microscopic tubules that is small hollow tubes or canals so if at all the dentine is exposed that is when the dentine loses its protective covering enamel the tubules allow heat and cold or any acidic or sticky foods to stimulate the nerves and cells which are present inside the tooth hence causing sensitivity dentine also acts as a connecting bridge between the crown on top and the root line below it dentine has a hollow space filled with a soft material called the pulp pulp it is also known as dental pulp and it is the innermost layer of our tooth it is extremely soft and fleshy and it is richly supplied with blood vessels and nerves and the blood vessels in the pulp they help in nourishing the tooth and if at all there is any infection in the pulp of the tooth it will not heal on its own it requires a root canal to be properly treated so whenever we feel pain in our tooth it is this region that is the pulp region that sends us a signal out of the three parts that is the crown neck and root neck is the region which connects the crown with the root 
neck it is also called the dental cervix and it is the region of the tooth that is at the gum line between the root and the crown so here the cementum that covers the root meets the enamel just like the roots of the plants and trees teeth also have roots and these teeth roots they help in anchoring the tooth that is they help in fixing the tooth firmly in the socket of the gums now the different types of teeth they have a different number of roots and root formations so incisors canines and premolars they have one root whereas the molars they have two or three roots now at the root of the tooth is a bone like material called the cementum or cement it acts like a tough layer of connective tissue that covers the complete root so this was all about the concept structure of a tooth hope that you all have understood it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel learn to teach till then keep learning keep teaching and keep enjoying